but uh, moving to the right, I don't find that a problem. Uh, you know, I'm willing to work wherever I get put at. So. When was the last time you played on the right before, uh, before Sunday? Never. Never? Just practice. Just throughout practice. Never in the actual game situation. Uh, so it was the first it was the first time for everything. What's and, uh, the best advice that you've gotten since you've come up with you to try to get your feet on your show? Uh, just work hard and uh, just be ready to go when your name's called. That's really it. How, how much has this time helped you, your experience coming in in-game, getting, maybe getting a lot of reps now? Uh, can you repeat that again? How, how much has the opportunity playing time helped mm -hmm. you maybe in your development? How much more comfortable? Comfortable are you feeling each each game? Uh, you know the playing time. You know you just go out there. You, you get uh, you're able to you know get used to the speed and stuff. Uh, you know it's a different game than college and the NFL. So just going out there, being able to just to play it, don't matter where I'm at, what position I'm at, is always a great experience. So I think, I think a walk up left always been your more comfortable side there, and, and why yeah. is that? Uh, it's just where I played uh, most of my career. So. so you feel like a much different guy than, than when you first rolled in here. You know, in, in the off season and. You know, we're kind of considered a, a little bit of a project. Do you feel like a much different player? Uh, yes, I feel like a different player. You know, I've improved a lot of different ways, uh, you know, on the field, off the field, uh, as a person. So, uh, what, and maybe as, as a player, what are, what are some of the things that you do much better now, you know, say when you just came out of time? Uh, you know, uh, using your hands and using my hands in the past, pro, uh, pad level in the run game, uh, just all around knowledge of the game. So, and just being efficient and um, playing with technique and fundamentals. Yeah, of course. When it comes to just being back at home, you guys have been successful yeah. in Nashville. Feel good to maybe get back here? It's been a minute. Yeah, it does. I feel like November flew by just because we were gone so you know so much. So it's nice to look at the schedule and see what two two games in a row at home, uh, play in front of our own fans. This is just a, a time that's not usually like this. You've been here mm -hmm. for a minute in terms of just the losses at. How yeah. Does the morale stay up in this locker room? during this type of time? Yeah, I mean, I, losing's never easy. I don't think it ever gets easier, too. You know what I mean? I, I've never been okay with losing. Um, but, I, you know, I, I stay positive by looking at the corrections and then, like, you know, understanding and believing that there are improvements to be made and that I can be better, you know, as a team, uh, as, as an individual. I'm feeling uh, kind yeah. of a guy who is always there, always making No question, plays. yeah. What, what makes him so, so difficult? Yeah, he's been doing it for, for a while now, you know, uh, in Minnesota. And, you know he's he's he gets a lot of targets because he's always open. He he's he's a really smart player, understands the defenses and and kind of knows his strengths and whatnot. So uh, he's gonna get a lot of targets this upcoming week and the rest of the season. So fun preparing for always like a different type of quarterback. Obviously yeah. Challenging because you haven't seen him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I think you know every week is is a lot different. Uh, you know what I mean? There's you know new opponent, new strengths and weaknesses. Obviously him being a rookie, um, he's still getting a you know, a feel for the game, but he's got a ton of talent and um, he's got some targets around him or some um, some good receivers around him with, with Thielen. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling really good. Obviously, the little bit extra time um, last week helps a lot. So, yeah, feeling confident and ready this week for, you know, whatever they decide to do. But, yeah, feeling good about everything. Like I said, your coach's decision. What's it going to be like for you if you're all playing against a lot of these guys or just teammates with a couple of them? Yeah. You know, it's exciting. It's obviously you develop relationships with guys, but at the end of the day, you know, it's it's man versus man, it's team versus team. So, you know, going out there wanting to win and dominate the opponent. So, um, it's gonna be exciting. You know, I'm looking forward to this weekend. But at the end of the day, we're going out there with with one goal in mind, and that's the win. So, that's the whole mindset. Any tips you can give guys just on personnel, maybe guys have Sure. Yeah. I mean, um, meeting with coaches this morning just providing the sort of insights and stuff that I, I was able to get from my time in Carolina and, yeah, go from there and, and game plan accordingly. And that's really all there is to it, yeah. Yeah, no problem. You know, it's uh, it's certainly different, but i um, already feeling really comfortable here and um, getting around the guys for the past few days and over the weekend. So, um feeling good about being here just yeah excited and, and happy to be in Nashville so uh feels good to be a Titan and I'm excited for this weekend <laughs> I think I knew I knew as soon as I got claimed I was like oh that's funny it's funny like got released from uh the Saints obviously at the beginning of the season played them two weeks later in Carolina so get released from Carolina basically play <laughs> play them two weeks later uh here so uh it's kind of funny how that works out but 
no, I'm just I'm just excited for this weekend. It'll be good to see all those guys, and uh, it'll be a good game. Yeah, no problem.